small on a map, but Hong Kong is endowed with 6,000-year-old archaeological remains, rich folk traditions, social and economic development in the past decades. One of the most fascinating aspects is without doubt the transformation it has undergone over the past century and a half from a few insignificant villages into an international metropolis. For today's journey, we will explore one out of 14 best museums here in Hong Kong, the Hong Kong Museum of History. This museum is located at 100 Chatman Road South, Chim Sa Chui, Kowloon, Hong Kong. Unfortunately, we're not allowed to take videos inside the museum or in the gallery. But I want to share to you guys the photos that I've taken during my visit in the said museum. Just keep on watching! The Hong Kong Museum of History have eight galleries. The first gallery is about prehistoric Hong Kong and the dynasties. Second gallery is about folk culture in Hong Kong. The traditional Chinese way of religious worship is a means of interacting with gods, spirits, and ancestors. Different deities are worshipped in Hong Kong, and temples are packed with devotees during the birthday celebrations of deities. 
Festivals are important social events that help to foster community spirit and social cohesiveness. Traditional Chinese festivals are classified into three main types. Ji, which celebrates important seasonal changes. Tan, which celebrate birthdays of gods. And Jiao, which are community-wide purification ceremonies. The Taiping King Chao ceremony, for example, takes place once every several years. Taoist priests are hired to spiritually cleanse and bless the community. Chinese opera is staged to give thanks to the gods as well as to entertain the villagers. After 1980, the number of public performances in Hong Kong decreased drastically as Cantonese opera replaced puppetry as the preferred performance. Young talents were not attracted to puppetry because of its decline in popularity. Many puppet troops were forced to disband as their puppet masters retired. Today, puppet performances are staged occasionally in some of the Taiping King Chao ceremonies held in new territories. The third gallery is about session and the early growth of Hong Kong. 